It is common knowledge that electromagnetic fields are observed almost in any position in space. People learned how to use such fields a long time ago. One of the applications is to transmit and receive electromagnetic radiations. Radio communication and television are the most well-known examples. However, to ensure efficient use of electromagnetic radiation, we need to know how electromagnetic waves propagate through space. We know that light is also an electromagnetic radiation within a visible spectrum. Consequently, we can forecast how electromagnetic waves propagate by observing light emission under various conditions. This is true. Electromagnetic waves, or radio waves, are reflected and absorbed similar to light. Diffraction and interface phenomena are also characteristic of electromagnetic waves. However, the visible band of electromagnetic waves occupies only a small portion of the whole electromagnetic spectrum. Now let's briefly describe how radio waves propagate through space. Firstly, all radio waves are classified in three types by propagation mode. They are ground wave propagation, ionospheric propagation, and tropospheric propagation. Ground waves propagate along the Earth's surface due to diffraction and refraction phenomena, or, to put it in other words, due to interception. This means that the wave follows the terrain of the Earth's surface. The range of communication depends on the working range, receiver's power, time of the day, solar conductivity, and antenna's performance. The maximum level, level of received signal will be within the line of such region. Ground wave communication range depends on the receiver's operating frequency and time of the day. For instance, many people know that radio broadcasting within the medium wave range with a wavelength from 100 meters to 1 kilometer is better received at night. While you can reliably receive high frequency band with a wavelength from 10 to 100 meters in the daytime. We need to take into account another very critical property of radio wave propagation. The greater the wavelength is, the closer propagation properties will be to ground waves, and waves will face less absor absorption. For instance, underwater communication requires long radio waves, while TV broadcasting is the most efficient within the line of sight region of a transmitting antenna.